call it okay so uh, so we can use this to rename it so uh, what i'll do is let's uh, do it okay uh, in r so that at least uh, you can refer it when you are when you start doing working on it so renaming is what is needed first uh, i have the data in my customer data this is where i have uploaded my data set customer uh, underscore data right so i'll use py function then i'll use rename okay and in my rename column, I'll just rename uh, the columns which I need to change. So I need to change this customer. With uh, underscore values. Okay, and then uh, I will change this effective to date to underscore okay and let's run it let's see how how does it work uh, it is working or not let me check that first okay there will be a comma here Let's check if the column name has been changed or not. So this uses a lot of work because Is still not changed. So uh, what we'll do is we'll have to change it manually. Okay. So call names, cus data. We'll create a vector and we'll uh, put each column here. That is the easiest way that we can take. So anybody uh, who started looking into the into this data set, did you uh, encounter the, any issue with the column name? Oh. 
So instead of using all the column names, can't we use directly those column names which we want to change? We can do it, but uh, that that is what we tried doing it here. But it is giving some error. It it happens like this way. Okay. okay. So uh, I look into this. Uh, this is what what it works. The problem is the space. That is why it is not happening. If it would have been not then, अगर यहाँ पे कोई space space नहीं होता, so we would have easily changed it using rename. Okay. Uh, I'm asking in column names. Uh, you are using in column names. Uh -huh. We are creating a vector, right? So in that. So what you can do? Uh, so then, if you want to change only those name, uh, which you want to change individually, you have to select that here. I'm not. I'm not selecting any particular uh, column here. I'm changing entire entire name. So okay. that is that is what my approach is. Okay. But you can do that as well. But to make it happen, you'll have to go and individually select that column here. Okay, and then you can change it. But I want to do it one at a at a go in in one at one yeah, time. I got it. just have a look if i'm not uh, if i'm not duplicating the column so uh, if you use a rename function without using that pipe operator then it will it's gonna work Or uh, rename then bracket then uh, data then comma then those columns which we want to change. Uh, come again, how you are saying rename? Or uh, rename uh, then bracket. Uh huh. Uh, then data set name. Okay. Uh, first data and then comma and then the columns which we want to change. So let's say I want to change this. I want to change this. So you mean like this, right? Yes, sir. So again, is pe uh, let's look at. It gives the same error. So problem is, it is not able to recognize this space. Okay. Okay. And this is a challenge for you. Okay. So uh, the rename generally, if you want, if your uh, column name would have been anything apart from space. You, it would have easily recognized, and uh, this is what we use when we do projects. A, a bar data set, Lelia, rename, and whichever column I want to rename, I just give the list here. But uh, it, it is not recognizing because of uh, your uh, uh, your space here. ठीक है, ये issue है. So अगर uh, just to verify, let's say I want to change uh, gender column, okay, and rename it to uh, uh, small gender. अब देखो इस पे इस पे क्या होगा इट शुड वर्क इस पे भी काम नहीं कर रहा है ओके सो दिस इज योर क्लास ये ये बेसिकली एरर में एक मिनट आई जस्ट चेक व्हाट दिस एरर इज
no, it's not working. So, guys, there, there are issues. Uh, one more thing that you will notice, okay, which is uh, which is here. If you use D plier and plier, so uh, these two packages in uh, at a go will create a lot of problem for you. Okay, so make sure whenever you, you, you want to use both these packages, so first uh, load plier and, and then D plier. Okay, this warning is uh, because we have spent half of a day to researching because our packages were not working in office. So ultimately we came to this error. Okay. So I hope that is not the case here. So first still, I'll just check. Okay, and I'll use this. Uh, Where is my where is my that uh, okay but it's not working somehow so why is not working so uh, we'll have to go with this step okay or there's one option which i see here is uh plier rename let's check this if this works uh you have data so data is our uh cust data and i want to change uh, customer lifetime Customer underscore yeah so uh, this is working and uh, so hopefully this will work with uh, call names okay so guys let's uh, lock this okay this is the best thing which I can uh, figure out now we don't have to uh, rename all the column that we were doing it here which is hectic so uh, under plier we will use rename function okay we'll give data set and whichever column we want to change so old column and new column but this will have to do it one by one okay but this will again uh, will take le le very less effort so let's use this okay uh, are we okay Yes, sir. Yeah. So, which other column we'll have to change? We'll have to change this column as well. Then we'll have to change employee status, general income, location code. I'll change it. Uh, let me. Then uh, location, marital status,
So this uh, thing which you are seeing uh, is a real problem. And uh, when you start working on the data, real data, so you will face such issues. Okay, so this will give you actually, a, in a sense, in a way, it will give you a sense of what actual problem looks like. Your data format may be issue hota hai when you work with the data set. So you suggest to have underscore instead of space, right? Yeah, the space is never never recommended because no no function will work on space. So I was actually kya kar raha tha? I was go, going through the uh, dot data. I was trying to uh, build some uh, insights. So I was seeing none of the functions were working. So then I realized that the reason is graph is not working. Graph is not working. Graph is not working. I was not able to make graphs. See here, I was getting error. Then I googled a lot, and then I got to know that this space is column. R reading is not able to space. Okay, then that's the reason. So, uh, uh, and you always, whenever you work on a real data set, so make sure column generally one with the other. So R ka, uh, like uh, for naming columns, there are some standards uh, R follows. Okay, and space is not there. Never recommended. Policy type that we have policies right renew. Your channel of your total create about after total clip you have. Uh, So uh, what I did here is basically uh, when the same data set go, rename, uh, I started renaming it. So here I have not created a different data set. So this is the same data set which I have uh, uploaded now. So if I check the column names, let me check how does it look. So I have almost all the columns renamed. Uh, customer underscore, sponsors, effective, gender, income, everything is renamed. Yeah. Okay. So everything is everything looks like uh, looks fine as far as column name is concerned. Let's see if we have not messed up with the data set. Okay. So we have a uh, yeah. So we also have a so we have the data set as it is. So it's uh, there's no issue with the data set now. Let's uh, I'll send you this code. Okay, I'll I'll just share this file with you so that you can uh, make up. I'll remove this. This is no more needed. So we got the efficient way to do it. Okay, now so let's start. So we uh, we loaded the data set. We found an issue with the name column name. Ultimately, you, you got the easy way out because many like literally I struggled. I was not aware of that the column names have uh, spaces in that in them. Okay, I ignored it earlier. So then I. Uh, uh like started checking on each column and uh, uh i started looking into the uh like categories and their values okay so let's uh, look a couple of them now and then uh rest will be uh, done by you okay ultimately let's uh, uh understand and come to a same platform what is expected okay so expectations will be a report like this okay so uh, like uh go through as much topic as as much category as you want okay so ultimately uh, you need to draw a conclusion uh, on uh, like customer behavior based on all the categories you have on the data set okay so the, the entire uh, game i mean the entire uh, uh, 
uh, work will be on a lot of aggregates and insights aggregates and insights so when i mean aggregate so aggregate will be done on uh, aggregate will be done on your categories okay categorize each uh, uh, categorize each category okay and try to take count uh, some mean standard deviation okay and see what uh, what insights you get out of it so what we saw now was uh, offer okay i did a simple table customer data and on customer data i was uh, uh, i basically looked into which one renew offer right renew offer what was the name for the one renew offer type offer type okay so i got to i got one insight so if uh, similarly you will have to draw at least 12 to 15 uh, insights uh, based on different categories and uh, jot that into insights so the insight out of this is offer one uh, was campaigned most number of time and uh, seems to be effective if you check the other uh, parameters so uh, that is and then i visualize this uh, into a graph as well so it should be uh, it should be a number like this then a inside or in written in a document and then it should be a it should be followed by a graph like this okay let's take some more examples okay let's go down so what i was trying to do is i i was trying to uh, see what customer responses is responses is basically uh, if a company has given a risk, uh, advertisement to a customer whether it be a digital facebook advertisement it can be a, a tv advertisement it can be a mobile sms what kind of so we are not bothered about it so advertisement can be in any form so customer got an advertisement he will if he responded it's yes if he, if he had not responded it's no okay so let's get into the data and see how the responses so it is yes and no i'll take a count how many yes and how many no so i saw that uh, only 1300 customer responded uh with the advertisement and 7800 customers did not respond with the advertisement okay so uh what is the ratio of uh response if i want to check so i'll just put this in a simple good uh handwritten uh, like what we do in our report uh 1308 divided by 90 uh 9134 was the total right so we saw only 14 uh 14 percent customers are responding to the uh advertisement right will i be correct in that sense so only 14.3 percent customers are responding and this is actually a very good rate okay generally we get a response rate of uh two three but we are getting a 14 percent response here okay so this uh then you uh, you can put this in in a graph uh let's say i'll put this in a graph and i'll say uh that uh, uh like 13 uh 1300 customers responded and uh seven thousand seven uh thousand seventy eight hundred customer did not responded okay which gives us a person a response response percentage of uh 14 percent okay so 14 percent customer responded to the marketing engagement advertisement like this guys uh, like is it making sense okay now uh, let's uh, so this is uh, the same thing it's not needed okay. so uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll give you some basic uh, uh, which i uh, uh, was doing when i was doing on this working on this project so what uh, what are all things which i'm using like engagement rates by offer type okay so this is now your underscore so this we have already seen okay now if i want to visualize this so the visual of it will be this is my offer one offer two offer three graph okay now let's get back to the data any anything else that uh, you want to know we'll we'll code it uh, itself so we'll, we'll see how many customers are male and how many customers are female so how will you do that so table cus data and then you can see 
gender. So we see that we have a like it's equally distributed, almost equally distributed. Okay, so we have a 4600 uh, female customers and 4400 male customers. So data is not skewed to any gender. So it's a very uh, evenly distributed data set. Okay, so now let's have a look into this uh, uh, location code. How many people are from uh, suburb, suburban, and rural area? So the distribution of that will help me understand. Okay, so there are uh, like suburban is having maximum like uh, contribution. Suburban has fifty seven hundred occurrences. Ruler has seventeen hundred, and urban has fifteen hundred. Okay, so you plot plot these uh, graphs, and then what you can see is out of this uh, fifty seven hundred uh, eighty customers in suburban, how many of them are male, female? How many of them are uh, uh, let's say? Uh, who who got maximum like what was the maximum offer given here offer one offer two offer three offer four those those level of categories you can see here okay uh, I mean group under group right okay and uh, so uh, uh, we you can we can also start with statistical numbers so let's say. I want to uh, understand what is the mean in income of the uh, entire data set. Okay, what is the standard deviation? Okay, so uh, try and uh, get get that like example. I want to see what is the uh, mean of the mean income of the entire data set. So this is by mean. Okay, so it's the mean is huge. Okay, so uh, what we can do is we first we need we can plot the data set. Uh, we can see if, do we have any uh, outliers or not that will help us understand does the mean actually stands this high or we have outliers that is uh, making our mean very high. So let's uh, plot income. So we see there's uh, uh, there's uh, there is very high. Uh, uh, there's some like couple of outliers like if you see here so we have seen box plot if i'm not wrong right guys yes sir yeah so you understand what box plot is right so uh, what we what we see here is uh or we, we can even uh, we, we got to know that we have outlier okay now what is the outlier so let's uh, do some scatter plot and check Or the normal plot will also help us. This gives us a thing. Why is this like this? Uh, Yeah, so uh, what we seen earlier is uh, uh, outlier is shown by small bubbles uh, uh -huh. in box plot. Yeah, what we saw earlier uh, that you are correct. So here yeah, we don't have a bubble, but we see that uh, the upper viscous that is this is very high. Okay. okay. So this is very high. Uh, you can say that there are not many people who are uh, on the upper viscous and that is not an outlier. Uh, that will be very much justified, okay, uh, for, for in the first place. Uh, so we don't uh, see a problem of outlier here, but yeah, but data is very much biased towards uh, high income people. This is what we see. So uh, uh, whatever data we have, whatever instances we have, so most of the instances are. Uh, so let me see how many people are. We have a column called premium and uh, all those things, right? So let me see. How many people are in premium and non premium? Yeah, so let's see uh, what is the distribution of your premium customer versus non premium customer.
basic so we have very less premium customers so let's take a mean so what what we'll have to do is if we get a like accumulated mean i mean a mean of all the customers okay so obviously the uh, the premium customer will have high income okay extended basic customer will have low income so this will this a24 customer will like overseed the uh, basic customers and will get wrong input wrong mean so what is advisable get the mean uh, coverage wise okay so let's do this get the mean coverage wise so what we'll do is we'll filter out data into premium okay so customer data underscore basic okay so i'll use filter function uh cus data where coverage What is this here? Yeah. So coverage is equal to basic. Coverage is equal to, equal to basic. So I got basic customers here. Okay. Similarly, I'll filter out my all the three customers. I'll filter out extended customers. And then I'll filter out premium customers. So now, uh, since I got a different three different data sets, so uh, then we'll take out mean and we'll see uh, how uh, how is the mean how mean looks like. Okay, so let's get the mean of a uh, mean of your. dollar income so we get 38,000 38, uh, for, for basics so let's take out mean of income 36 and then mean of Okay, so uh, mean of premium. So mean of premium is high, and it is supposed to be high. So we, you see the order, right? So uh, basic is having least mean. Okay, uh, then you have uh, the extended that is in between ha is having a mean which is greater less than uh, basic and uh, greater than like greater than basic and less than your premium, and the premium is having the max mean. But this was not clearly visible when we had a general mean of the of the uh, like where we had all the customers. So that is why we so we were getting something in between which was not giving us a clear idea, right? Does it make sense, guys? Okay. So now uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, Okay, so you have coverage effective to date is not needed as of now. Employment status. So if we if we check the employment status column, like how does it look? So 
so employment status how many uh, so we have employed medical uh, and the people on leave okay okay so so this uh, you, this will give you a very good insight what you you should do is filter out a data set of each uh, employment status okay and check uh, check the uh, offers they are getting okay or you can even check like what is the uh, income or mean income for each uh, group okay that will give you a very clear idea like uh, like obviously people are, who are retired okay so they'll have very least uh, income people who are very unemployed they'll again have very least uh, least income okay so people who are employed who who shares the maximum number of percentage uh, customer percentage these are our target customers okay and this will actually give us more revenue and you can prove this so this is my assumption this is my hypothesis and again when we start working on the data set this this should be proven by the numbers okay and this is all you need to do you create a hypothesis and prove that uh, using the numbers and the data okay so this is your one example that you can do let's go to the data set back location code we have already seen suburban urban and rural okay uh, yeah so battle status so guys a, a general question for everybody now i start guessing it uh if, like everybody should at least guess and tell me if i talk talk about marital status and we have single married and unmarried okay single married divorced how many things we have let's check the unique unique of customer marital status so we have three categories married single and divorced okay so whom like tell me based on your uh, understanding of normal day-to-day -day life uh who will be having maximum income here if i like let's let's create a hypothesis and then we'll prove it using data and then you can implement the same way same thing across uh, all the uh, categories yeah let's let's uh, create a hypothesis now You mean like uh, who will have more income at the end of the month or like uh, yeah so whatever like uh, data we have so if I can... married people if if uh, wife and husband are working then both the incomes but we don't have that uh, information that uh, uh, like uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Have. so let's uh, see we have income is one column okay so uh, do we have any column which says spends um let's no, check no. that okay so we have total claim okay. amount okay so yes. uh, when it says total claim uh about so uh for now we can assume uh claims uh, is something which uh the customer is uh, like uh costing to the company so who will be having most uh like maximum claims okay so income and claim so which customer group will have more income or claim so if it create that uh, sir if we uh, see generally uh, uh -huh. divorced ones uh, will have more money because uh, singles maybe uh, they are below 18 they don't have any job or okay. but there is priority about divorced ones because okay. they are you know grown ones and they have any job or something okay so you so mean uh, uh, like uh, this category of people will have uh, more income yeah and uh, total so income and uh, as of uh, my understanding income and total claim amount is relatable it, it will go uh, like hand in hand it will not go in opposite direction it will go in same direction okay so let's uh, let's do one thing let's start looking into this battle status okay So our hypothesis is like diverse people. Uh, this is what I was also thinking. Uh, uh, there was uh, 
this category will have a more income at least okay let's see this uh, if that is true cost data uh, divest okay So I will filter this column. That's what, what is the issue with this? Okay, so this is what column that, that we have. Uh, we have buried. That is it, right? Okay, so let's uh, create this three data set and uh, check the uh, mean. Let's say standard, okay, fine. So let's check the mean now for now. Okay, first diverse. So these guys are having uh, income of 40K, 40.5K. And then you have, uh, Barrett guys, and then you have single guys. So single, anyhow, this is what I feel. They should have less income, but let's see. Forty-three is Barrett, and single. Single is less. Uh, so uh, our hypothesis, like, uh, was not correct. So we have people who are Barrett. They have more income. Okay. Now let's have a look into uh, their mean of uh, claims. What uh, what is their claim? Uh, relation total claim amount so they have a uh, bead of this and then uh, uh how is how is this possible okay So we have not changed the set. Okay, that is the reason we got the same bead. That is not possible. Okay. So what is the bead? Thirty-four is okay. So okay. So claims among uh, singles is maximum. Okay. So they have a lot of time in their life to claim their amount and all those things. Uh, so the the claim is maximum. Uh, at the least uh, is in married people. The claim is least uh, when it comes to married people. And uh, when when divorced, so it is lesser, greater than uh, married, but less than the singles. So you got a good insight from here uh, in terms of income and claims. How are they relatable? Okay, so uh, I'll just save this so that you can refer to this. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check some other uh, KPIs and create some hypothesis. Yeah, so, okay. So tell me uh, one good thing that uh, we can understand now. So we have a total claim amount and then policy. So uh, like obviously uh, claims comes from policy. So can we check uh, which policy is giving you maximum claims and which policy is giving you minimum claims so in a way we can uh, uh, we can understand that uh, we can draw a hypothesis that uh, uh, the claims which is having uh, the maximum claim amount a mean of maximum claim, uh, claim amount uh, first thing is those will be 
uh, more expensive because the claims uh, gives you flexibility of claiming maximum will cost you more. So corporate looks like uh, it is expensive. Okay, then you have personal so, and special. Okay, so there are three categories. If I'm not wrong, let's check how many categories we have. Okay, we have a lot of categories. So there will be a lot of work that needs to be done. So there are a lot of categories, uh, corporate. So in this, you can check uh, for each category, okay, uh, what is the uh, mean of uh, claim about, okay. So what we can do is we can try it in a go rather than a receive pipe function uh, policy. So you got the uh, you got the requirement, right? What I'm trying to do, guys. Uh, do you want to have any insights on this? I, what I'm trying to do is I want to know uh, we have policies. We have uh, ten different policies, eight, nine different policies. Okay, uh, I want to see on which policy you get. Uh, maximum claims that is my uh, like uh, requirement that is my uh, uh, like need of, the, need of the moment for example okay policy claims okay uh, group by Summarize. Uh, mean of uh, clips. Total clips. Okay. So I did a pipe function and let's run this. What is the output? So <clears throat> Oh, I did group. Okay, so it gave me a total mean. Okay, so I'll select policy, uh, comma, total claim. And then group by policy. Okay, it will get discarded. One minute, guys, give me a minute.
Okay, uh, so this group by is... guys. Any uh, any one of you who who have system in their uh, who is who is online from the system? Can you try one thing? Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, just try this thing. I don't know. This this is the simple tag uh, syntax that I'm using. I want to group by uh, policy. Okay. So uh, this pipe is not working. So uh, this 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 should work because we also have seen this in the session, right? So uh, customer data passes the data. I'm grouping it by a uh, policy, and then I'm trying summarizing it uh, to get the mean. And this is not working somehow. Uh, it should work in your system. This the issue with the system, which is what I saw here uh, in the uh, like I was just googling it now. So the idea is let's use. I'm not working on this data set. Uh, Okay, so once this data. Okay, so once you start working, so just uh, just have a look. Okay. No, sir, I'm working on A/B testing. Okay, That's anybody who, who whoever is working on this data set, just try and use this uh, syntax. I'll just pass this syntax to you. Okay, why this is not working? Okay, so then we'll uh, use a normal uh, syntax. And we'll use policy. Okay, so I'll pass policy and then I'll take a mean. List. Okay, so we got it, but uh, let's uh, do this mean. Okay, so here we have, uh, we got the, we have not used pi function, the which is uh, the advanced version. We have used normal aggregate function to get uh, group wise uh, mean, okay, uh, and the mean of policy. Sorry, we wanted a mean of total amount claim, right? Sorry. Okay. Okay. So here it is. So we have. Uh, I've just used aggregate, but I'll ask you as a task why this is not working. Just have a look. Okay, it should work. I want to. I want to have customer uh, data, and I want to group it by policy, and then I want to take the mean of total claim amount. This is what I want, and uh, this is very straightforward. But this is giving me. Uh, one single value which is not expected. I want. I want uh, values where one will be your uh, claim amount. If I select it, oh, let's see. Select. Uh, policy. And then. After ungrouping it, this should also work, but policy dot found. Yes. 
Okay. So uh, I'll have a look because there's some uh, error here, but th this is it. I'll share the code and uh, let's let's try and conclude how, how this customer uh, and, uh, behavior will be done. And tomorrow when we start, uh, we'll wrap up with uh, A-B testing, right? So how, what it, we need to do with A-B testing. So guys, uh, you need to pick up each group. So uh, there's a thing uh, predefined that I'm telling you, each group, whoever is working on customer behavior analytics, they uh, this group each group needs to take up take up some uh, KPIs uh, sub categories and uh, draw uh, hypothesis and prove that hypothesis is right or wrong uh, using the data and numbers. Okay, preferably if you uh, use uh, numbers and uh, draw some graphs and create an insight. Uh, once you are done uh, with at least ten to twelve uh, insights, uh, put that into a word file. Document that into word file. Make sure uh, just uh, not only code which will matter, but code you are writing. Uh, but uh, with the code, you should have some uh, like insights which you should write uh, out of your discussion that uh, you thought this and this happened. So there should be a good discussion. Uh, uh, like uh, uh, diverse people have a lower income. Uh, and uh, married people have higher income because there there can be a situation that both the both the partners are working and accumulated accumulated incomes are counted. So these are my uh, better customers. So if I target my married uh, married customers uh, with offer this offer, so chances of uh, a response is of yes is more. So such insights we need from your side and. Uh, 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 put it on the graphs as well if, if possible and the code so these three things is mandatory on the document so first will be your uh, insight with number uh, what uh, what insights you're drawing so let's say you are uh, calculating the engagement rate of a time so this should be your title that sh there should be a code and your should uh, you, that sh should be your insights your handwritten thing and then uh, graph if possible not mandatory Okay, and uh, that is it. And I, I'll even share the sample. And tomorrow we'll have a session. Uh, like again, uh, let's do it in the morning, uh, and we'll have the session on uh, A/B testing. What we can do on A/B testing. Okay, uh, is it clear, guys? Anything else that you want to ask? Uh, so uh, what I'm facing is uh, if I'm applying any. Uh, for example, for loop on the data set, uh, okay. my application crashes every single time. Uh, because, sir, uh, for example, if I have to uh, distinguish between the uh, uh, user ID, uh, in AV testing we have user IDs, but uh -huh. uh, there are certain tests, some user ID which have uh, redundant data. Okay. Uh, so, in order to uh, distinguish what uh, user names are redundant, uh, I am uh, searching for uh, every single value in the column uh, to, you know, uh, store the uh, unique user names. Okay. But uh, my application crashes crashes every single time okay. I so run the loop. Let's uh, let's see what you are trying to do. Uh, where is the data set? Uh, you have the data set. Uh, so okay, so it's anyway we'll be looking uh, a bit tested tomorrow, right? So uh, we'll I look into your issue as well, but it should not crash. Uh, uh, it's a not very huge data set. It's a relatively small data set that we have given uh, that we have given to you. Okay, so we'll look into. But it it's two lakh ninety thousand approximately. Yeah, two lakh ninety thousand is a thing. We deal with millions of records in four GB of RAM. Yeah, so there can be a, a other way that of doing it. So if you want to find a unique uh, record, so why why go uh, on a loop? Okay, so there's an optimal way of doing it. So let's uh, use unique function. Okay, uh, this will help you. Or let's use apply function. Uh, this is a very good substitute of your uh, for loop. Okay, so uh, you definitely there's uh, there's something you can do on a, a coding front. But yeah, if you even try to do loops, so I'll just write uh, for i uh, in one two whatever uh, whatever your data is, right? So and limit it. Don't don't leave it uh, black and whatever operation that you are performing. So put it here. Uh, let's see uh, how it was. We'll we'll see your issue tomorrow. I'll I'll upload by that time. I'll upload even upload my data set uh, on R so that I can do what you wanted to do. 
okay and uh, other information i have i have also started like we have also started course on sql we'll start on from 4th of january this is open for uh, all the students of uh, bhu du and cu only three universities so have a look into it if at all you this drags your interest uh uh yeah so if at all it, it uh, pulls your interest this is really, this will be very interesting course because sql is very important okay for uh, and you should do because r is one way to work with it so the, in that course it will just have a look if uh this looks looks, looks good, good to you so this is a very practical driven approach we'll, we'll be using by sql uh, uh to learn this uh, learn the sql all the installation and all will be taken care by the team so uh, take uh, we'll just have a look into this sql we'll be starting from 4th of january okay and uh, see if this uh, tracks your interest okay and uh, there was one question uh, in the chat yeah are we uh, are we allowed to share our certificate issued by you yeah yeah you can uh, so you you will be getting a e certificate as well so which you can share on your uh, linkedin and the zoom if needed so it will be a certif uh, once you submit the uh, project so you will get a you will get certified uh, like that you did uh, r programming course r, r for data science course and uh, which you can even share in your resume as well as in social like linkedin and all okay and same will be applied for sql as well like once you do sql and uh, once you complete the project of sql so you will get certified for that as well right uh, guys are we good anything else i'll